Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we are here to do your weekly love reading for April 9th through the 15th. This is for the sign of Aquarius. We are going to get one of these oracle cards and then we will break right into that tarot deck. This card will be revealed at the end to see if it uh, coincides with the reading. This is for the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? April 9th through the 15th. Now, generally, my love, my readings are love readings, so that's what we're gonna we're gonna say it's a love reading because that's what I do. Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for this week ahead? April 9th through the fifteenth. There could be some conflicts, okay? There could be some uh, communication that comes in that you don't want to hear. I'm sorry to start the reading out like that, but with this reversed, there could be some um, communication that isn't um, desirable, okay? There also could be somebody that is watching you from afar. You know, they could be watching you. They could be, you know against you or they could be just interested in you either way this card usually signifies dealing with a person that um, is conflicted you know and they may be planning something that isn't good oh okay so we are dealing with somebody that is probably upset now this could even be you I mean you might be upset or somebody, you might be dealing with somebody, another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that is um, not happy with the situation. There could definitely be some, some arguments, some bickering, some harsh words. Okay. There could be some trouble in regard in your commit in your relationship. Okay, there could be some trouble. Some definitely there's some discontent. And I'm sorry to start the week off like this, but um, you know, if you just look at the cards, it doesn't. It's not good. I feel like there definitely could be some arguments that shake up a foundation. for their foundations. This is a commitment. There could be some sort of. Um, Definitely some discontent, okay? There's going to be some, 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 some kind of um, argument, it looks like. And, you know, it might force you to move forward. It might, you might want to move, you might decide to leave a commitment. You might decide to end it because this is moving forward. This is putting yourself in the driver's seat and getting the hell out. So I'm not sure if this is you or another person, but somebody may decide to just get going. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Yeah, you may decide that you just want to be independent. You want to take you want to do this on your own. I think you're thinking about it either way. Whatever happens, and I think at the they're at the beginning of the week, whatever happens may may really make you consider where where you're going, what's what what you want to do, okay? I feel like you're going to you know, you're looking for somebody who sees your worth, and I think that you see your own worth. And perhaps whoever you're dealing with doesn't see your worth. You could be dealing with somebody who is only in your life for security and stability. All right? They're only in your life so that you can take care of them, so you can mother them, so that you can, you know, be their rock, but they're not being your rock. I think that you are very stable and secure, Aquarius, and that, you know, somebody may be taking advantage of you. And you may decide, you know, there could be some kind of argument that makes you decide, no, no. Or makes you think about it a hell of a lot more. Makes you think about leaving, like, I, I'm not sure I can do this anymore. You 
Yeah, there's definitely problems on the home front. Okay. There's some family feuds going on between you and another person. All right. There is. There's some family feuds going on. And it could have to do with money. It could have to do with a third party situation. Somebody, you know, could have cheated. Somebody could be drinking too much. Somebody um, may be spending too much money. Whoever this person is you're dealing with, they don't see your worth. And you are worthy. And you have a lot of self-love. And you, um, they should be grateful for who you are because you're very stable and secure. So I feel like you are dealing with somebody who is doesn't believe in themselves. This person does not believe in themselves. This person is not headed in the right direction. And you know it. And I feel like you are thinking about doing this on your own because you don't need to be used. You don't need to be somebody's, you know, your partner's mother. Simple as that, okay? And I feel like, you know, you, you see what you're worth. I feel like you know what you're worth in that this, when this argument comes out, you're going to be like, I <laughs> have... Heck with this shit. I'm worth a hell of a lot more than that. Let me get this zoomed in. So I feel like you may decide that you want, you might even feel like you want to break this up. You want to break up, you want a divorce. I mean, I mean, these, this, these can both signal a divorce with this one too. Or a split. If you're not married, there could be. You know, I just, and this is independence. This is the independent woman who takes care of herself and just enjoys life. And she does very, very well enjoying life because who needs arguments, right? Who needs, who needs to fight all the time? I think you're dealing with somebody who is very petty and they may be very unstable and insecure and they're using you as their material security. Not only material, motherly security. I feel like some, you may decide to, you know, Put yourself right in the driver's seat and, and trot on out of there. Um, there's definitely some family feuds this week. Beware. Beware. You're making the right choice. I mean, here we have this relationship, you know, that was meant to be happily ever after, but it could have been false. Okay? It could have been. These are beware of false beginnings. This is are you making the right choice? Was it just an illusion? Okay. Are you staying with this person just for the financial security or are you they? Are they staying with you just for the financial security? This is love or money. Okay. And it's causing a lot of hurt. It's causing a lot of worry and, and anguish and depression and sleepless nights because I'm thinking somebody is thinking about ending a commitment because... There's some sort of illusion here. Yeah, somebody's hiding something. Maybe somebody is having a relationship with somebody else and that comes out. Maybe they've had a child with somebody else. I don't know. Either way, there's something that is hidden here. There is. There is. There's definitely some sort of hidden element that may come out or has come out that has caused some feuding could have been a third a hidden third party situation that resulted in a child or resulted in a relationship that you didn't know about somebody was not telling the truth yeah and you may decide that you can't do this anymore that you know this needs to end Yeah, it's like you got. You might decide that you need to remove this from your life. You might need to remove this obstacle. You've been lied to long enough. Somebody has been lied to here. And they may be deciding to move on. There's definitely been some secrets and they may have come out. Maybe it was a secret relationship. So I feel like this is a, a, a week of perhaps of thinking about moving forward, getting the hell out. 
Yeah, somebody's thinking about making a conscious change. Because where they're at, there's no more growth. Too much has happened. It's time for me to free myself from this situation. That was false. Because there's no more wish fulfillment here. There is. I mean, there's no more wish fulfillment. There's, 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 I have, I don't have any faith in you. I don't have any trust in you anymore. I can't trust you anymore. So I'm thinking about removing this obstacle from my life so that I can find myself again. I feel like somebody that is watching this is about to make some sort of change that brings about some personal freedom and independence so that they can get back to where they need to be with this, so that they can get to where they need to be. Somebody is going through a life transformation here. They are. And they have evolved because of some sort of betrayal. That's what it looks like to me. I think that you're dealing with somebody who has hurt you very badly. So I feel like this is a week of deciding or thinking because there's a lot of thinking going on. There is a lot of thinking. What am I going to do? I'm ready. I'm ready. I have the courage. I have the strength. I have the, I have the inner power to let go. So I feel like this is a week of finding your strength to move on from a situation that has brought you a, fruit, a few obstacles and left you feeling unworthy. And I feel like you find the strength to let go and perhaps find your own independence and let go of the worry, the depression, the despair. Somebody is letting go of a relationship that had a lot of secrets. And I do apologize, but that's what it is. There's a relationship that had a lot of secrets here. It could have been a third party situation. Maybe it even resulted in a child. Either way, I feel as though somebody is finding their inner strength and their own self-worth to take action. That's what's happening here. So I think this is a week of taking action, Aquarius. Yeah, to bring peace back to your life. Peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. That makes complete sense. This is what's going on. You are taking action to bring peace back to your life, back to your soul. Because where you've been, there's been no growth. Somebody didn't see your worth and they took advantage of you. And I feel like this is the week where you take it back. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I wish you the best. Talk to you next week.